people in the UK are being urged to know the early symptoms of a silent killer cancer that is highly common in both men and women, according to new stats. Data from Cancer Research UK and the government has revealed that lung cancer is the second most common type of the illness in the UK. Along with prostate and breast cancer, which are the most common cancer types in men and women, lung and bowel cancer makes up 53% of all cases, and the majority of lung cancers are preventable. Wales Online reports that a huge 79% of lung cancer cases can be prevented by making simple lifestyle swaps such as stopping smoking, a habit that causes around 72% of cases. A person's risk of developing cancer depends on many factors, including age, genetics, and exposure to risk factors. Nearly 1 in 13 UK females and 1 in 14 UK males will be diagnosed with lung cancer in their lifetime, with experts predicting there could be around 66,200 new cases each year by 2038 to 2040 in the UK. Often dubbed a silent killer, lung cancer sometimes doesn't create any symptoms in the very early stages. However, there are still come red flag signs that everyone should be on the lookout for. The main symptoms include, a cough that does not go away after three weeks a long-standing cough that gets worse chest infections that keep coming back coughing up blood an ache or pain when breathing or coughing persistent breathlessness persistent tiredness or lack of energy loss of appetite or unexplained weight loss Some less common symptoms of lung cancer are as follows, changes in the appearance of your fingers, such as becoming more curved or their ends becoming larger, this is known as finger clubbing, difficulty swallowing, dysphagia, or pain when swallowing wheezing a hoarse voice swelling of your face or neck persistent chest or shoulder pain see a GP if you have any of the main symptoms of lung cancer or any of the less common symptoms. What are the two types of lung cancer? According to the NHS, there are two main types of primary lung cancer, identified by the type of cells in which the disease starts to grow. These are, non-small cell lung cancer, the most common form, accounting for around 80 to 85 out of 100 cases. It can be one of three types, squamous cell carcinoma, adenocarcinoma or large cell carcinoma. Small cell lung cancer, a less common form that usually spreads faster than non-small cell lung cancer. The type of lung cancer you have determines which treatments are recommended. How to prevent lung cancer The risk of lung cancer can be lowered by making some lifestyle changes, the NHS says, with quitting smoking being very effective. After 12 years of not smoking, your chance of developing lung cancer falls to more than half that of someone who smokes. After 15 years, your chances of getting lung cancer are almost the same as someone who has never smoked. You should also try to eat a low-fat and high-fiber diet with plenty of fruits and veggies, as research has shown this can reduce your risk of cancer. Exercising may also help slash the risk, especially for ex-smokers. It's recommended that most adults do at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic activity each week, plus strength training exercises on at least two days each week. Join the Daily Records WhatsApp community here and get the latest news sent straight to your messages.